Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the Hakadama, the introduction of the Chavetz Chaim to his magnificent Sefer on Hilchas Lashon Hara, and he's explaining why people will make mistakes and think they don't need to learn the laws of Lashon Hara, but in reality, we have a great chiyuv, a tremendous obligation to learn it. I know, I know already, says the Chavetz Chaim. There are many people that want to diminish the purpose and the obligation that we have to learn the halachas of Lashon Hara. Of course, as many people are skilled when they don't want to do something that's right, they bring a raya, they bring a proof from Chazal of why it is that they don't have to keep this particular halacha. And they quote the following words from the Gemara, Mutav Shagin Ve'al Yehu Mazidin. It's better that a person remains oblivious when they do the sin. Ve'al Yehu Mazidin. They should not be mazed. They should not be people that are doing the sin consciously and know what they are doing. It's better, say Chazal, that if a person is in a situation, and this is on the person who wants to give Teichach a rebuke, for example, if I rebuke this person is, is failing in a per- particular area of his mitzvah observance, uh, and I see that he keeps doing the wrong thing, so I want to go and tell him, hey, you know, you're not allowed to turn on the lights on Shabbos, you're not allowed to uh, eat in that restaurant, you're not allowed to do this. So the Gemara says over there, you have to know who the person is. And if he's a shoigeg right now, which means that he is unaware of what he's doing is the wrong thing, and by telling him he's going to become aware, but he's still going to do the sin anyway, so then you're turning him to a mazid, you're turning him into someone that is doing it knowingly, with kavana, with intention, and that's worse. And the Gemara says, it's better that a person should be shoigeg, that they should continue to do the aver, the sin, unknowingly, then to be told about it and now be aware that what they're doing is wrong and then end up transgressing that sin, but maze it knowingly with intention. So that's what the person says. Why should I learn the laws of Lashon Hara? It's not going to stop me anyway. And then I'm going to be amazed and it's going to be much worse if I do things with a knowing, intentional way. However, says the Chavetz Chaim, the halach is with me on two sides. Aleph number one, bedaver mafurish but Torah ain't only mutav. Something that is mafurish that is explicit in the Torah, we don't say over there. Well, it's better that I should continue doing that sin b'shoigeg unknowingly than rather to do it knowingly. K'mosha pasuk lo arachayim the shulchan aruch itself paskins like that. V'loshen hara urechilas who davar mafurish but Torah loshen hara gossip urechilas tail bearing are things that are mafurish. They are explicit in the Torah. And therefore you have an obligation to know them, so that you should not transgress uh, unknowingly. But furthermore, in Cain, If that's the argument, well, it's better for me to remain uh, ignoramus in these areas than rather to understand what I'm doing wrong. So then why bother teaching people about the laws of gezel, of stealing and thievery. The gams that kosh the kind, they're also very difficult to keep the laws properly. If you're in the office space and you want to pick up a pen that was bought by the office and a piece of paper that was bought by the office and you want to write down your shopping list, are you allowed to do such a thing? Maybe it's gezel. So it's very difficult. Every little nuance in one's life could end up being a problem of gezel, of stealing. So should we not teach the laws of stealing to people because it's so hard for you to keep? Better that you should just walk around and steal unknowingly than do it knowingly? The Gemara says in Baba Basa, Rubam Begezel. Majority of people trample onto the sin of gezel all the time. They're not even aware of it. So they have to learn. The Gemara says over there that everybody tramples on the sin of Lashon Hara. That means not an actual Lashon Hara all the time, but at least Avak, the dust of Lashon Hara, which is what we will speak about later on in the Sefer. And the Gemara itself asks, everybody speaks Lashon Hara? No, everybody speaks at least Avak Lashon Hara, dust of Lashon Hara, which is which, as we'll see, it's it's minutia, it's a little pieces, particles of Lashon Hara, but it's still considered Lashon Hara. And therefore, it is important to learn these laws of Lashon Hara. 
in order to be saved from the actual sin itself. You can even be saved from the from the dust of Lashon Hara. If you will place your heart and your thoughts into it, so you'll be aware of what's coming out of your mouth, you won't even say the Avak, you won't even say the dust. I'll tell you the same thing, says the Chavetz Chaim. You're worried about learning halachas that are too difficult for you? What about the laws of Shabbos? The laws of Shabbos are enormous. They are gigantic. There's many, many nuances in the halach of Shabbos. Difficult to keep them in the right way. So we should say, you know what? Don't learn Hilcha Shabbos. Just be Machal Shabbos every week. So you, at least you'll be a shogig. When you walk into the kitchen and you do Bishol on every single Shabbos, you cook. When you go into your closet to take something out for Shabbos, you do butter and you separate things. So you'll be Machal Shabbos. What's the big deal? Why should we teach you all the halachas? The answer is, if it says in the Torah that this is a mitzvah, then we have to learn the mitzvahs. If it says in the Torah this is an Aveir, then the HaKadosh Baruch Hu will give us the strength to be able to, to complete and fulfill that mitzvah and to steer away from the Aveir. And therefore, says the Chavetz Chaim, you have to learn these laws of Lashon Hara. Whatever excuses you have of why you think that it's okay to say Lashon Hara, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is not going to accept those excuses. And then after 120 years, a person goes up to Shemayim and he comes with duffel bags filled of all the Lashon Hara that they spoke. Hashem says, Rachman al-Litzlan, what did you do in your life? And the person will say, oh, I was shaygeg, I didn't know, I never learned. He says, you never learned? I wrote the Chavetz Chaim, wrote a Sefer Chavetz Chaim. You can get it in Hebrew, in English, in Russian, in Farsi, in any language that you want. You can go to Shirim, you can listen to them, you can learn the Becharusa. You never learned the loss of Lashon Hara. How could a person do such a thing? And the Mela, therefore, says the Chavetz Chaim, it's imperative that we spend the proper amount of time learning the laws of Lashon Hara so that we will be able to guard our tongues. Nitzor l'shaincha meira to guard our tongues from speaking evil and bad. Have a wonderful day.